you start looking at the people that influence you and then you kind of mirror them. And then through that process, your voice comes out. Keith Haring took, his line work was so simple and people just loved it. Patrick Nagel had a, an eye, a beautiful eye for color and composition and line. Those two mashed together along with a little bit of sprinkling, some Dr. Seuss, some Disney stuff, and you got me. My dad and I bonded by going to arcades that were in the 80s. They were just these giant, huge rooms packed with Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, all these awesome games. And then the artwork on the side of the games attracted me to the game. The artwork never matched what the game was like, and that always frustrated me, because like Pac-Man has legs on the side of the game art, but when you play the game, he's just a round dot with a mouth. But the colors were bright, you know, all the fluorescent bulbs were around because that was the 80s. And then skateboard graphics, mainly the Santa Cruz skateboard and the Schmidt stick skateboard graphics along with the Pal Peralta graphics. I would gravitate towards the ones that were simplistic in design, bright colored, bold lines, mostly monsters and, and evil dolls or whatever, and inspired me as a young boy. I worked as a scenic artist at Disney out of Anaheim. I worked on right when California Adventure opened, so I was working on a lot of mural work for that. And I worked my way up to a head of a scenic art department and then uh, got hired through Nike and then ended up at Hurley to incorporate art into clothing. It was a bold move and I, and I was into it. I had a real, real fun time there. I was there for about nine years. My art has evolved over this decades of, uh, into like these characters. The elephant's me, kind of doubts himself but he's like a good guy, he's, he's trying to do his best. Tipsy the Elephant has friends like Patch the Cat, which is basically Mr. Cat <laughs> in, a, in a cartoon form. And, and I put the personalities I've written on my website of just different people. My friends are just their personalities, so I wrote little different stories about each one of them. The process of me doing my drawings is extremely simple. There's a sketch and then I use a light board, and then I take a couple pins and I just outline, I just, it, my hand just knows where to go. I scan it into a computer and I just lay in colors. They all have spots, which kind of is the unifying thing graphically that draws them all together. Their line work is very wonky, so to speak. They're not perfect. They have a big foot or a bandage or a bigger ear. It's like, like people. We all have our quirks about us physically. I kind of incorporated that into my, my art. So it's, it, it's more relatable. This little elephant that I drew on a napkin to, that, just to impress a young girl probably, <laughs> and, uh, and he was just a this dumb little elephant, has really taken my art into a direction I could have never have imagined. Over the years, my art's been on anything from skateboards, kids' t-shirts, keychains, stickers. Just recently I've just been doing these custom cell phone cases with my designs on them. So I don't want it to be priced out of anybody's range. I want everybody to enjoy it. It's, it's, there's affordability for everybody. The city of Costa Mesa, they've given me an environment in order to express my art. I mean, and, and they've given me places to do my murals, they've given me places to have employment through Hurley, and all the uh, action sports industry is usually in, is, is around Costa Mesa for the most part. It provided the resources in order for me to accomplish the goals that I have, and that's really amazing. So how the utility box came about for Costa Mesa was Frank over at Custom Art and Framing of Costa Mesa approached me um, I did a very patriotic flag with the elephants in it, and then I did the front of it would be my shark chum. He's like a Jaws, the Jaws movie poster, but done in my hand. So that was those two combined together. Um, I we wrapped the box. I'm not an artist, Bryce. I just get up and I want to create. It's so amazing. I just can't wait. I sketch all the time. I'm not that guy. I gotta get involved in life, and I have to have a balance of friends and going with family and doing other things besides just enmeshing myself in my art. 
I mean, I just go live life and then I get inspiration from living life. And then I bring that into my artwork. But it's a very big part of me. I've had it in me since I was a kid. And people, I think, love it. They love it because they can relate to it because it's, it's just fun. It's just my slogan for my art is it's just fun art for anybody. If you can smile when you see my stuff, I've done my job. Thank you.